If you could, we want to encourage you to find a seat. No. No. Good afternoon. Good afternoon if you'd find your seat. Good afternoon and welcome. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Pastor Bill. I had the great privilege of being Helen's pastor and friend for many, many years. On behalf of the family, um, I want to really thank each and every one of you for being here today. I know it's a more difficult situation than it normally is, but your presence and your support means so much to each one of them during this time of loss and transition in their life. We have gathered here today to remember and celebrate and thank God for the earthly life of Helen Shank and really to rejoice and find great comfort and encouragement that right now, Helen is more alive than she's ever been. Enjoying and experiencing all the wonders, the blessings of heaven because of her saving faith in Jesus Christ. At times like this, the word of God greatly comforts and encourages us with the wonderful promise that God is our refuge. He is our ever-present help in times of difficulty and trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. We also have the wonderful assurance in John eleven twenty five, 25, where Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though they die. We want to begin our time together and uh, bow our heads in prayer and join our hearts together. We're going to ask the Lord to touch and just fill this place with his presence and his great comfort and joy and peace. Let's, Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we've gathered together this afternoon to remember and celebrate and thank you for the precious life and love of Helen Shank, a wonderful wife, mother, sister, grandmother, and great-grandmother, and a great and much-loved friend to so many people whose lives that she touched in so many wonderful ways. God, we ask that you would grant to each person here today the great peace and joy of knowing that Helen is in heaven right now with you, totally free from all suffering and pain, and experiencing and enjoying eternal life in Christ and all the amazing blessings and wonders of heaven. And God, that someday, because of our own similar saving faith in Christ as our Lord and Savior, we will be reunited with her once again, forever, never ever to be separated. Father, please bless our time of remembering and celebrating Helen's life today, and please meet the particular need of each person here. Fill our hearts with your awesome peace and your amazing presence and joy. We pray these things now in Jesus' name. Amen. Helen had a great love for God and a great love for music. 
She loved to listen to, play, and sing hymns of the faith. And we want to honor her, and we want to honor her faith and eternal life in Christ by singing a hymn right now together. Hymn number 220, we're also going to put it up on the screen, He Lives. and dear to our family and um, she was like almost uh, another mother to us and a grandmother to our kids. At this time, I'm going to have my son, Zach, who is tremendously close to Helen and uh, who Helen really impacted in many mm -hmm. profound ways, influenced him in many profound ways. He has the privilege of reading right now one of Helen's favorite Scripture, Psalm 23, and uh, in talking to Tim, I didn't realize that just about every evening he would read this to Helen, um, so that's great, and she loved the Word of God, as those of you that know Helen, she loved to read the Word of God, uh, she loved to study the Word of God.